In this lesson, we'll be discussing the IUPAC names for compounds with two functional groups and where one of the functional groups is an amine. The question reads, give the IUPAC name for the following compound, which is used in the production of methadone. The first thing that we want to do is write out the longest carbon. So the name of the longest carbon here is three carbons long. So we'll start with propane. The two functional groups that we have here is the OH and the NH2. We have to identify which of these two has the highest priority and use the longest carbon chain to give the compound name. The hydroxyl functional group has higher priority than the amine group, so we'll use that as the base name. The way we name alcohols, OH, is we drop the E and replace it with OL. Think of the word alcohol, OL. And given that the OH is on the second carbon, where we start numbering the carbons from here, one, two, three. We call this 2-propanol. So the base of this compound, its name is 2-propanol. Let me just rewrite that clearly. Next, we take into account this substituent. That's an amine. And because it's on the first carbon, we write down 1-amino 2-propanol. If you watch one of our previous videos, we looked at compounds that did not have extra functional groups, like this OH. And because that was the only functional group, we named it with A-M-I-N-E at the very end, so it was propanamine. But because this has a higher priority, take a look at the list on your right, then the base of this name reflects that hydroxyl group. Let's move on to question two. Draw the condensed structural formula for 3-amino pentanol. As you can tell just from the name, that the compound is an aldehyde. We have AL at the end. And aldehydes have higher priority than amine groups. So we know we have two functional groups here. We have an aldehyde somewhere at the end of the molecule and an amine group at the third carbon. So since it's pent, we have five carbons. So let's draw the backbone. And we'll call this carbon the carbon that has the functional group shown here for the aldehyde. We'll start counting the carbons from here, one, two, three, four, five, and place the amino or amine right here, NH2. Filling in the rest, three hydrogens, two hydrogens, one, two, and we're done. And there you have it. That is how to write the IUPAC name for compounds with two functional groups.